Hello everyone and welcome back to the Horror Basement. Uh, my name is Shane. It's been a very long time since I uploaded a video here. Um, unfortunately, I once again contracted the very bad virus that we don't say the name of on YouTube, uh, which put me out of commission for a while, and uh, now I'm back. So if you are one of the handful of people who regularly watch the channel and make sure that none of my videos uh, sit at zero views. I apologize for making you wait, but I am back today to give you the first of our final two installments in the classic horror review series. Uh, so the story of this film uh, begins in 1963, where um, B-movie uh, director legend uh, Roger Corman gives his uh, young producer friend and very unknown uh, young artiste by the name of Francis Ford Coppola, uh, Roger Corman gives Coppola some money and tells him to go to Ireland and make him a psycho ripoff. He does this with all the conviction that you would uh, give your little brother a, uh, a few bucks to go down to the corner store and buy cigarettes for you. Uh, but Cor uh, Coppola took this far more seriously, as this would be his uh, first feature um, directorial debut. This was the first um, movie that Francis Ford Coppola had the opportunity to direct solely on his own. And he took some of the core elements of Psycho as he was basically instructed to make a ripoff. Uh, so he took the um, pretty blonde lady that gets killed, and then we follow another pretty blonde lady around. He took that, and um, a lone killer with uh, psychological problems. And beyond that, he basically made his own movie that um, functions more like a... Um, a thriller or crime mystery than uh, than Psycho really does, because it's we uh, are unaware of the killer um, until the very end of the movie. Um, so the movie begins with Lois and John, who are happen to be out on a boat when John dies of a heart attack, um, and it's discovered that uh, instead of leaving his his money or his share of the inheritance to his wife, it is set to uh, be returned to um, the family. So Lois has to go out, out to Ireland and try to, to try to uh, sneakily change the will before the Halloran family, the rest of John's family, uh, can find out. Now she is uh, in the process of doing this when someone hits her in the head with an axe. Now, much like the shower scene in Psycho, we do not see the killing blow, but um, with a skillful use of, um, you know, uh, scoring and scene editing, uh, Coppola is, does a, a fond and very um, adept imitation of uh, the famous scene. And the rest of the movie actually follows a young lady by the name of Kane, who is engaged to the eldest of the two remaining living Halloran boys, which is uh, Richard. So there's uh, Richard, who is the older brother, Billy, who is the younger brother, and Lady Halloran is the mother and um, head of the Halloran clan. And this family is marked by the tragic drowning of the two boys' sister, Kathleen, which happened some years ago and seems to be the the inciting incident for whoever is axing all of these people in the head around this uh, beautiful bucolic um, Irish manor. And in the end, um, after we introduce and kill off uh, some side characters and Richard, uh, Kane's fiance acts like a um, a big hulking rage monster the entire uh, in multiple scenes to make him a convincing red herring, we learn that the younger brother, Billy, was actually the one 
who had pushed Kathleen into the pond and caused her to drown all those years ago. And uh, ever since then, he has blamed himself and can only um, receive comfort from this psychological torment by hitting people with an axe. But he is um, quickly dispatched by the family doctor, who, um, much like in the end of Psycho, goes on to explain in um, mostly outdated Psycho Babble terms what I just said. Like, Billy, he's real cut up about the whole accidentally killing his sister thing, so now he axes people. So overall, I didn't uh, I didn't know what to expect going into this one. It's definitely not what you would call a um, a normal or a straight up horror movie, but it's uh, beautifully shot. All the parts are acted very well. Um, you can already tell that um, Coppola has a great eye for like cinematography and all that, and um, it succeeds on kind of catching a similar vibe uh, to Psycho and giving us some good uh, proto-slasher scenes with, from the killer's point of view. So overall, I really enjoy this. If you're a fan of Coppola or just a fan of, like, the early 60s, uh, you know, proto-slasher horror stuff, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and leave a comment of what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. Um, any Any likes or comments really helps, you know, tell YouTube that more people want to see me. And if you want to see me as well, you could hit subscribe and catch the grand finale. The next video will be our 50th and final installment of the Classic Horror Review series. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.